In this work, we show how pre-training recurrent neural networks on naturalistic environments can recover the behavior of rats performing a two alternative postures task. In this task, we have two main components. One is the stimulus that provides information about whether the reward will be on the left or on the right. And another one that is the trials are correlated. We have repetitive blocks in which the probability of repeating the previous trial is higher than 0 0.5 and alternating blocks in which the opposite is true. So the question here is how rats will combine these two sources of information. And Hermoso Merizabal et al. In two, uh, last year showed that rats were able to use this trial history um, after correct trials. This can be seen in these psychometric curves in which we plot the probability of repeating as a function of the evidence for the repetition. And you can see that in the repetitive block, the, this curve is shifted towards the left, which means that rats tend to repeat more often uh, than, you, than chance. And in the alternating block, the opposite is true. As I was saying, this only happens after correct trials and after error trials, uh, rats don't use the trial history completely, ignore the, the information contained in the trial to trial correlations. And this is what we have called the reset strategy. It is a strategy that is not optimal. The optimal, uh, the ideal observer would do something like that. This is just a cartoon trace, but you can see that uh, the ideal observer should switch the bias after an error temporarily. Um, and then, uh, so we decided to investigate further how this reset strategy could ar arise. The first thing we did was to quantify properly this reset strategy. We used a generalized linear model to quantify the contributions of different factors, relevant factors of the task. Uh, here I'm showing the contributions of the transition regressor um, after correct trials and after error trials. You can see that after correct trials, the transition uh, history it contributes quite a lot to the decision of the rat, but after error trials, this contribution uh, vanishes. We have quantified with a very simple formula the, this reset strategy. This would be our reset index, and uh, measure this for different task variants. These are tasks in which we change different parameters, but you can see that for all of them, rats are pretty consistent. And, and this. Uh, this strategy is robust across uh, different variants. So reaching this point, we have rats that uh, are trained for 20, 30,000 trials, and they reach this solution that is not optimal, it's not bad, but it's not optimal. So the first thing we did was to train directly our networks on the task and see how they did. And as I'm showing here, uh, networks are able to, to learn quick to, to, to perform the task as good as the perfect integrator would do. And uh, very soon as well, they start using the trial history and that's why they, their performance go beyond that of a perfect integrator. You can see here the psychometric curves at the beginning, there is no trial history. And in the end, there is this switch strategy that I was explaining before in which after an error, the bias is temporarily uh, reversed. This can be seen again in these kernels in which now the, the black traces are uh, towards negative, which means that after error trials, transitions contribute to the decision of the rat. So um, this is the scenario we have now. Uh, we are training the networks for much longer, and then they find a solution that is actually better than the solution that rats have found. Uh, here, our hypothesis is that rats arrive to this task with uh, with a background uh, shaped by evolution and development that prevent them from um, fully exploit the, the statistics of the task. And it, it, the brain arrives to the, ta to the task, so to speak, with uh, priors, and that's the best solution they can find. So what, what we did was to pre-train our networks on more naturalistic environments. Uh, this more naturalistic means for us more, uh, many more uh, choices as I'm showing here in different contexts of with different transition probabilities. And we were able to recover this reset strategy here. You can see that when we train with 16 choices, uh, we, and then test on the two alternative process tasks, we are able to show that these black curves, the contribution after an error of the transition history uh, vanishes. Here I'm showing the reset index as a function of the number of choices. And as we approach 16, 
uh, we get reset index values as the ones we find for that. So this is a summary. Thank you.